What's up guys? Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get your Gmail push notifications sent straight to your iDevice through the Mail app. Now what a lot of people don't realize is that Gmail does not support push notifications through the Mail app on an iDevice unless you have a business account through them. Now if you're like me, you simply have a personal Gmail account just to get your mail. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix this issue. First things first, we're going to go ahead and click on settings. We will go to mail contacts and calendars. And as you see up top, I already have my Gmail configured. But we're going to focus right here where it says fetch new data. Click into that, scroll down to the bottom where it says advanced. Go ahead and click on that. And in your Gmail, you are left with only two options, fetch and manual. So no push, which is extremely annoying especially when you're waiting on an important email to get sent to you and you need to receive it in a timely fashion. Uh, fetch and manual, as I said, they just don't cut it. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Let's back up a couple pages here to where you see add an account. So go ahead and click on that. And even though this is your Gmail account that we're adding here, we are not going to put it as a Gmail account. We're going to go up top to where it says exchange. Go ahead and click on that and right here where it says email go ahead and type in your gmail information your gmail account domain you're not going to touch that just leave that blank username is the exact same email that you used right up here so basically your gmail account over again and then go ahead and type in your password now once you type in your password you're going to click next and i will show you what will happen after that once you click next after typing in your password this window will pop up that says server to fix this issue, all you have to do is type in m.google.com. That's it. Click Next. It will verify it. Click Save. And then Done. That is it. Now you will get your Gmail sent to your phone, to your iOS device, um, through push notifications, as opposed to fetch or manual. And I will also note that once you have configured this, you can go ahead and delete the Gmail account because what this is going to result in is you getting duplicate emails for the same account. So go ahead and delete that Gmail account, but leave the exchange. And now just to show you that it is supported, we will go down to fetch new data again. Scroll back down to the bottom to where it says advanced. Click on that. Your exchange now adds an extra option for push. So that's it. There's my tutorial for today. I hope this uh, helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. And as always, click up top to subscribe. You guys can always uh, follow me on Twitter, add me on Google+. All links will be on my channel. So that's it. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.